Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing how to use fuel trim data to diagnose a weak fuel pump or other fuel delivery issues. The good thing about using this approach is that you don't need any fancy or professional scanner to get access to fuel trim data. Very basic OBD2 dongles can do this. Now let's get this. Before getting into how to check fuel pumps or fuel delivery issues using fuel trim data, a basic understanding of fuel trims and what it means is required. Fuel trim data presents information on how the ECM or the vehicle computer is adjusting the air fuel mixture during driving in comparison to the optimal air fuel ratio of 14.7 grams of air to 1 gram of fuel. If you have more air in this mixture, the air fuel ratio is defined as lean and if you have more fuel in relation to air, the mixture is known as being rich. The short term fuel trim represents how the ECM is making these corrections in real time or immediately while driving, while the long term fuel trim is a representation of how the ECM is adjusting the air fuel mixture over a broad range of time, or more accurately in relation to the last time that the fuel trim data was erased. I'll be using the X2 D7 today but as I said previously, those small OBD dongles that connect to your phone via Bluetooth are sufficient for this. I'm in a 2002 Mercedes Benz S55 and the first thing you want to do before running this analysis is to warm up the engine. The reason why you want to warm up the engine is because cold engines run richer. ECU will be commanding the injectors to dump more fuel into the combustion chamber so that the car can get to operating temperature quicker. At operating temperature, the engine is most efficient and doesn't release as much emissions. Let's look at fuel trim data. You see that we have both short term and long term fuel trims for bank 1 and bank 2. That's because this car has a V8 engine and one side of the V is one bank the other side is the second bank. Generally you want your fuel trim data especially the long term fuel trim to be less than negative or positive 10. You want your fuel trims to be very close to 0%. Here you can see that the long term fuel trim data is at 1.6 which is good. This car doesn't have a fuel pump issue but if it did the first thing you're going to notice is that you're going to have a lean mixture. Both the short term and the long term fuel trims are going to be more than plus 10% and that's because the ECU is commanding the injectors to add more fuel to the combustion combustion chamber. A lean fuel mixture can either come from low supply of fuel as well as an oversupply of air from something like a vacuum leak. And this is how you'll be able to differentiate between a vacuum leak and a weak fuel pump or fuel delivery issue. Ideally I should be looking at the fuel trims across bank 1 and 2 but since both banks are looking good in terms of fuel trims for ease of demonstration I'll just focus on bank 1 so that the data is not modeled up and you're able to see clearly. I select short and long term fuel trims on bank 1 as well as 10 temperature and RPM. I'll combine and graph this. Or maybe to make it easier for you to appreciate, I'll just go to custom. Now that the engine is warm, you start by raising the RPM from somewhere between 1500 to 2500. If you raise the RPM and there's no change in the fuel trims and it continues to remain lean, then you're likely looking at a failing fuel pump or a fuel delivery issue such as dirty injectors, a restricted fuel filter or a leaky fuel pressure regulator. At this point, one of the things you can do is to put in a good injector cleaner into the tank to see if that clears out the injectors and repeat this test. If the fuel trim continues to be lean, then you're likely looking at a weak fuel pump or a restricted fuel filter or a leaky fuel pressure regulator. At this point, you require additional testing such as a fuel pressure test to determine which of these is causing the problem. However, if you raise the RPM and hold it there and the fuel trim begins to improve and drops closer to zero, then you're looking more at a vacuum leak. This is because vacuum leaks have their most effect at idle and as you raise the RPM, because the engine is going to be sucking in more air, the vacuum leak becomes less relevant and the fuel trims drop towards normal. This is a very basic test that you can do to get a clue on whether your fuel pump is failing or whether you have a fuel delivery issue or a vacuum leak that's it guys hope this was helpful catch you on the next one peace